Hoops! Yo guys, today is December 29th. We will be visiting Sharif. He's a good friend of mine. He's a sneakerhead. I will be bringing my family, my kids, uh, Jermaine, and maybe we will have some drinks, food, and we will check his uh, shoe collection in his house. Let's go. We will be preparing and then yalla. Thank you. Ready, Let's go.
Sharif mm-hmm. and I'm a sneakerhead. I started collecting probably somewhere around 2004, mm-hmm. but I was moving a lot from one country to another. So obviously I lost a lot of my collection, very few pieces. I kept and they are back in Morocco, but still nice boxes. Like <laughs> Civil Works, mm-hmm. which is basically what, what I have experience in. And, um, and I continue working in the same field. So it's, uh, it's a passion that I have had for forever. Even when people were not wearing sneakers, I've w- been wearing sneakers all the time. Mm. How many pairs you have now? Uh, approximately. Approximately. <laughs> so here displayed maybe around 250, 250 something. Mm-hmm. All over the house, another 100 pairs maybe. And in Morocco, wow. maybe 40, 50 pairs. <laughs> it's not too much. It's okay. never enough. <laughs> what brand do you collect? Uh, well, I was born in 1980. Mm-hmm. So obviously for me, the Nikes were the sneakers of uh, when I was a kid. When I was maybe late 80s, early mm-hmm. 90s. Obviously Adidas as well was there. Reebok was starting with the pumps. But Nike was a bit special, but mainly Jordans. So mm-hmm. that's, uh, so I would say Jordans and in Nike, Air Max 1s, Air Max 90s and Air Force 1s. So that's what I really love. Where do you get it? <laughs> How well, do you get it? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good question. Um, it's not so easy to get all of them on retail. Uh, luckily here in UAE, we, we managed to get, uh, I wouldn't say most, but a uh, good amount of uh, the new drops. I mean, compared to other countries from GCC or Middle East, but still we don't get everything. So whatever I can get on retail, I'll get on retail. If not the rest, I'll get them online. I'll ask friends or family living abroad also to get for me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All resellers, but very few times from resellers. Mm. Most valuable shoes? Uh, the most valuable shoe I have in my collection. It's maybe I'm not my favorite or not my only favorite. One of my favorites mm-hmm. is the Jordan one, not for resale, the Varsity Maze. Mm-hmm. This one probably is the most valuable. Oh. Don't ask me how much. How much? <laughs> maybe very expensive. Uh, Another one, very special to me. It's the Air Max One Tokyo Maze. Nice. It's a very special ones. Well, if I start, I won't finish, so <laughs> <laughs> nice. let's stick to this two. Okay, what's your advice to people who wants to collect shoes? Uh, well, my advice for people who wants to collect shoes is uh, don't follow the hype. Just follow what you like. It doesn't matter if people say or agree that the shoe is very special, that the shoe is hype or the shoe is limited, that you need to buy it. If you like it, buy it regardless on that. So basically that's my main advice. Don't follow the hype. Oh, nice. It's called Air Max 1 Amsterdam. You can record this as well if you want to include it. This is the... Why is it special? Uh, it's special because I love I love Air Max ones and uh, that's a quite limited and demanded choice. It's called the Air Max One Amsterdam. 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 It's beautiful. That's why the 3X, which is the symbol of the city of Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. So in Air Max ones, uh, I love limited pairs. I have another one. So usually all the limited ones are still on the box? Uh, <laughs> no, there are a lot of limited ones. Look at this. Oh my nice. god. Very nice. I like that color. It's called Air Max 1 Parra. Nice. So those, these two are very special to me. This one is worn it already. One brand new. Never been used. 
No, never. So what's the plan for this one? Keep it. To love it. <laughs> love it. Uh, actually, when, when you want to buy shoes, mm -hmm. and you see the advertisement that uh, uh, pre-loved shoes mm -hmm. means pre-loved means somebody already won them. Mm -hmm. But won them with love. <laughs> no, did not beat them. And okay, so same regard, this one high. It's very simple, but yet, man, so beautiful, so clean. It's a Jordan one. It's uh, like an OG color. Mm, Looks like yeah. an old school type. It's Jordan one. I saw you posting uh, SB shoes. Do you like SBs? Uh. Yeah, I do like what they call the fat tongs. Uh, actually, they are very comfortable, mm -hmm. very nice. But I stopped liking them because of the hype around them. Yeah. They are not easy okay. to get. Most people will just run, try to get them. Um, something I don't like. <laughs> so when they, so that's 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 the thing between a sneakerhead and somebody who's only following hype or hype, hype beast, is that they feel like they are getting something special. While mm -hmm. when you go to the street. You will find most people wearing this. Not most people, but you'll see a lot of people wearing them. So what's the exclusivity behind that? Well, if you're getting something less hype, less hype, mm -hmm. that probably most probably people won't know about yeah. or won't even like it a lot. So you'll probably be the only one wearing this. You are very unlikely to find someone wearing the same shoes. So that, that for me is exclusivity. Hey bro, what's this? Yeezys? Yeezys, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That's so nice. Very cool. Actually, I stopped getting Yeezys even if I wear them a lot. Because mm -hmm. I feel like the colors are pretty much the same, very similar lately. But still, there are some colors I love. Which one is the best for you? Uh, for me, the 500, I love this silhouette. It's so different. It's beautiful. Uh, 700s. Super comfy. Nice. Uh, in 350s. Uh, love the design. Very cool color, very African touch. Cinder, right? This is a cinder. That came in some pairs like you don't see very often. Mm -hmm. They're not so hype, but that I love because I find them exclusive. I mean, what I said before, you don't get to see a lot of people wearing this if you work in a mall or any place here. Plus a Vaporfly, but it's a, it's a collab with the Japanese brand Undercover. The silhouette is different, the color is nice. That as well is an undercover, 720, Air Max 720 undercover. So those are the type of things that, that I like. <coughs> you won't find people queuing to get this, mm -hmm. and I don't understand why. So they will <laughs> stay on the shelf for some time. For me, are beautiful. Like, I mean, there is a lot of work behind. And that's a Nike Waffle Comme des Garçons, CDG. There was only one shop in Dubai selling them. Good. Man, when you love shoes. End up having shoes everywhere at home. <laughs> nice. That's it? Uh, pretty much that's it. <laughs> Actually, it's not the biggest collection. A lot of sneaker heads having much more sneakers, but I get what I can. Uh, social media. So we've started doing uh, videos on hype or not hype. Uh, it's actually called Shoe Hype. It's H U underscore Hype, H Y P E. Mm -hmm. And my personal uh, Instagram account, which is Crust Lemon, all together. Crust Lemon. Crust Lemon, okay. We are out. <laughs> Cheers, Thank man. you.